I have like a huge new appreciation for honky tonk. Yeah. Honky tonk. So that was a lot of fun. Okay. We just we uh, just we just two stepped. <sighs> we sure did for a lot longer than my body was prepared for. <laughs> um, I'm a little worn out and tired. So I got I got utterly fluster flucked. Like <laughs> trying to figure out But you found your way into it. So uh, Anthony and Rose over at X Dance yes. met with us and they taught us how to two step and they are lovely people and their YouTube channel they they teach all kinds of dancing mm-hmm. uh, swing line country swing country, swing, country two step you guys et cetera can et cetera check out their channel over on YouTube X Dance and Anthony and Rose and so we just we just we just went and two stepped with them it was so fun and we were at the Broken Spoke which is like this super old like country dancing spot here in Austin and just like visually, you know, it's legend. Like it's so fun to be in there because of the environment of it to me (laughs) is so fun. Like I just love it. You pee in a trough and the men's bathroom is a, is a horse trough. Yeah. I went in and peeked at it and I I got nauseous. Yeah. It's but besides the bathroom, (laughs) like, I don't know why I was talking about how great this place is visually. And you went straight to the trough. I was cause me and Anthony were both like, well, that's an incredible urinal. (laughs) Do you know in the women's room, it's like these little teeny stalls yes. that don't have doors. They just have um, American flags for sliding privacy and Texas flag. Not the American flag. Texas flags um, for privacy. So you have to like slide the Texas flag to sit down on the toilet. That's incredible. It's really cute. So the Broken Spoke is amazing and Anthony and Rose were amazing and they taught us how to do the two-step. Yeah. And that was a lot of fun. But I got, I had a rough time. There was a moment where like smoke was coming out of your ears, not with fury, but with just like absolute like perplexed yeah. uh, of how to incorporate certain. And it is hard. Like even me as a trained dancer, if someone's facing me and they go like for National Dance Day, we get the videos on right. YouTube and, ha- and have to learn it. And they're facing us going right, left. And I just get like, oh, my God, yeah. I can't. Even if you say right, left, I can't convert the motion in a in a certain way, you have to turn, and I have to stand behind you and learn it that way. He, he, so yeah, he was well. So yeah, my brain started to fizzle like when a laptop gets over for work and it starts humming and it gets too warm. Yeah, like that was happening to me, and I was like, there was cameras there, and I was like trying to keep it like, oh my god, they're having so much fun. But I was like, like if they weren't there, I would have done like the god damn it son of a like. But I had right. to like keep my my. Uh... I'm glad you did because. <laughs> but what got me was. The left and right thing again, like I knew it would. Yeah. And then when I translated the turn you left or turn you right into go out or in, because it's your yeah. Anyway. When I did the out or in, I figured it out. Yes. But here's the thing. Yes. So we got it down, and you were very patient, and we did. I did learn it. You learned it immediately within a few seconds, and then I. It took me a couple of hours, and I did learn it, and then we did it. But I want to say that I still feel that as good as we may have looked after those few hours, you're carrying me and you're being, you were being very patient. Well, you were just going like, slow, slow, fast, fast. fast. And I was slow, just bringing, fast, fast, slow, like, slow, fast, yeah, fast, Yeah, but slow, at a certain slow. point you have to enjoy the fact that you're dancing with someone. I, yes, I see. You know what I mean? Yeah, ideally, and yes. I don't. <laughs> ideally, yes. You're supposed to enjoy it. So it was like you were still practicing while drilling as opposed to stopping practicing and enjoying dancing with me. Totally. But I understand because if you didn't do that, you would have messed it up and then we wouldn't have been enjoying it. We would have been tripping on each other. Yeah. So I get it. But that's all that was the difference was I was just then having the moment of like going, I'm going to enjoy myself. Yeah. yeah. You are so fucking sexy when you dance. It's crazy. You're sexy all the time. But when you dance, you, it your whole body just becomes like an electrical glow. You... Well, you, first of all, part of your sexiness threw me into a frenzy because I'm supposed to be doing fast, fast, slow, slow on my steps and the feet are going, the feet go fast, fast, slow, slow, fast, fast, slow, slow. That's what the feet are doing, right? And your feet, my feet are doing that and your feet are doing that, but then your hips were doing driver, driver. (laughs) So, 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 and I'm not touching your feet. I'm holding your hip, Uh right? Right. So, Uh so. So my hip swivels fucking up your fast, fast, slow, slow. So bad because you were doing sex a driver. So the feet are going fast, fast, slow, slow. And I'm trying to find the rhythm of the fast, fast, slow, slow. And the music's playing. So Uh I'm going fast, fast, slow, slow, fast. And you're going backwards. I'm going forwards. 
So you have to, I have to do it in a way that we don't bonk feet, right? And then I'm concentrating heavily on the fast, fast, slow, slow. And then you're doing sexy drive <laughs> on the hip rotation. And every time you do sexy drive I would lose my fast, fast, slow, slow. And how do you say to someone <laughs> like, hey, you're so sexy and, and organically, inherently enjoying yourself. Stop because you're fucking up my pedantic... <laughs> mathematical rhythms uh-huh. so I couldn't but I every time you got sex to drive I would lose my fucking thing and and then I realized actually that that same thing used to happen on swing dancing oh, I learned my because yeah. it's duh, 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 right so this, this whole uh-huh. thing and you would go duh, 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 duh. <laughs> I used to be like that's not the move but you're so advanced that you could do the move and then add in sex. I know exactly what you're talking about. Because when I used to dance with my dad, yeah. I was just doing the basics, yeah. you know? And then if I wasn't spinning or doing dun dun yeah. dun and then back yeah. like yeah, this, right. if it wasn't that or spinning, right. he would like then go to the side and hold my hand and he'd do this like kind of two-step thing forward shimmy. and back and a little thing. And I was just like, <laughs> like, am I going sideways forward? Right. So I would just sort of stand and... Yeah, because I didn't want... He was enjoying dancing with me, and I don't care about... The steps don't have to be perfect. The purpose is to enjoy yourself. Right. So I would just dance around, but I felt like I couldn't... I would suddenly just... It would come to like a record like... Like that. And I would totally go out of harmonic rhythm with him. Yeah. But... It was me because I he knew what he was doing. He was like then breaking in. There, it was a dance step yeah. that I just never learned. Yes. And I never spotted it as such because I thought it was improv. Right. And never thought to go, Dad, what is that thing that you do? Like, let me learn what that is. Because right. then I would awkwardly transition. Yeah. And you have so much training as a dancer from classical ballet to lyrical jazz. Yeah. That you can do so many things with your body so fast. It would take me forever to learn the move and then sexy jazz. Yeah, like I yeah. wouldn't, it, I wouldn't be able to get there fast. But I'm, I'm convinced. Like this is the first time we've danced together in a while. Yeah. Because of, of the COVID the bullshit pandemic. So we just haven't. So this was great because the broken spoke let us use the place in the early hours of the day. Yeah. So they didn't have to close anything down, but it was empty, right? So it was just you and me and Anthony and Rose, and we just got the place to ourselves. It was great. Yeah. So we could do this lesson and and just do it by ourselves, but. How great is dancing for a relationship, for couples? Yeah. Right? To it's, do. I think better for us than martial arts. <laughs> yes. As or opposed, boxing. As opposed to the couples that we know that do Muay Thai with yeah, each other. Yeah, they can do it and, you know, it was fine for them. I think you and I no. would lose... I'd kick the shit out of you if I had the chance. So, I think dancing is... <laughs> I wouldn't really, but it might trigger me a little bit. <laughs> but I think that, like, dancing... You and I are artists. Let's yeah. just keep it in the arts and we'll do our martial arts independent of each other. Right. But I, I like, like more people should dance with each other. Yeah. Like it's, I don't know if you have two couples that don't know how to dance, how that would be. But I think I guess some you'd... people feel embarrassed or that they're not good or they, they can't go out on the dance floor and look a fool or, right. you know, they have all their insecurity buttons. I do. Uh-huh. I have all those. Oh, I get very insecure because I'm not a dancer. So I get nervous and that's why it, that's why I did back in the day all those swing dancing lessons so I wouldn't get insecure. Right. I still wouldn't take what I just learned to a two-step honky-tonk yet. Right. I need more practice. Because mm-hmm. the minute the music kicked in and you'd look into my eyes and get sexy jazzy, I was like, huh? <laughs> yes. Yes. I understand. But it, it is very, um, it was very pleasurable. I think we should just go to the Broken Spoke. Yeah. Like on one of the nights and do yeah. whatever class they offer, you know, if it's the right time and... Uh, and just for fun, you know, and sit and like have a beer and like enjoy the environment. That sounds amazing. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Well, Anthony. Tell me don't go out very much. (laughs) We're like, really? Go out to a place and have a beer? What? Oh my gosh. I need to get out more. I don't care if I have a Coca-Cola. I don't need the beer. I don't really drink. But like just the idea of, um, I think you and I have gone a little inward from the pandemic. I think everyone has, right? Yes. And it's become really much more preferable for me to stay home just because I've gotten used to it and I actually really enjoy staying home. But I forget it becomes a bit of an implosion. And I think that it's inorganic to humanity to stay in like that. So it's like, I think we have to make a few extra efforts to get out while, you know, the numbers are very low in the community and it's a little safer right now. Um, 
it actually sees the moment to yep. like maybe just go do things that raise our spirits in that way. Yeah. Well, the rodeo was a first big thing for me. It was like the first yeah. time we'd been out in that kind of thing in a long time. And that was, uh, that I was ready to join the rodeo right there. <laughs> yeah. And then after now being a, an advanced two-stepper now, <laughs> I'm ready to go to a honky tonk. Yeah. I want to wear tight jeans, cowboy boots, my hat on the correct way. And I want to have a, a non-alcoholic beer in my hand mm -hmm. and take a swig and then come and grab you on the other end of the dance floor and swing you around. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm down for all of that. Yeah. In theory. And then... And no, then, I really am. Totally. And then if there's just a way to do it and be done by 4 p.m., I'm like golden. <laughs> so I can get home I think, and put on my sweats. I think our our nocturnal uh, rhythms, we need to like start pulling it and lengthening them and expanding our tolerance. God. I it, think we just need to actually make a project about expanding our tolerance because otherwise I think it's just going to keep closing in on us. Yep. Yeah. I, I think about when I was younger that I could go days without, like days without sleeping. And the idea of staying up until three, four, five in the morning had no effect on me. I'm like, just talking about staying out till nine. I, I'm trying to say, I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about staying up, staying out till four or 5 PM. Like, like we, when, when we were done by whatever time we were done by. Today, I was so today, ready to go home uh, and. <laughs> we were exhausted. Yeah. We were I, fucking. I was like really, really really excited to put on my sweatpants it was like and you were like hey let's go home and record about what we just did and i actually thought you were joking yeah because i'd only had three hours of sleep the night before because the dog got freaked out from the thunderstorm right anyway um yes so i guess the goal of our relationship right now of this marriage is to just stay out past 4 30 p.m let's just go outside our comfort zone <laughs> in all areas yeah okay good well no oh oh really Anyhow, oh my God, you're a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> sexy jazzy. She got, she got sexy jazzy. No, 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 no. All right. Well, I love you, Buns. That I was love you. Of... That was really fun and you did really good. I'm actually really proud of you. You carried me very well. How, how do cowboys kiss when their hats are down all... They take it off. Oh, they do? Or they go like this and they block. No, your other hand. What do you mean? Down, down stage. Now block it. Now block it like from that? From the camera. Let me know if you want this too Baby, you just make me feel crazy I love crazy for you I feel crazy I love crazy for you, baby Yeah, yeah I love crazy for you now Oh, oh, oh Yeah, yeah, yeah Crazy Good job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <Cheers>. <laughs>